hello friends welcome to this session in this session i am going to uh, show you how you can uh, write your lambda function code uh, using chat gpt chat gpt is a new ai revolution uh, from open ai that is based worked based on natural uh, language processing uh, text based question answer response it's a powerful AI that which allow us to uh, help which help everyone in different ways like uh, so today I'm going to show how you can utilize that tool to write a lambda function code snippet so um, first I will uh, show you like how you can write a uh, greetings um, like write a lambda function handler code which generate a random greetings so let's ask uh, chat gpt uh, to write a lambda function handler code which generate a random greeting using node.js okay so let's ask this question to chat gpt and um, then we can use that snippet to uh, test how it's powerful uh, chat gpt writing a lambda function code for us so you can see we ask like write lambda function handler code which generate a random greetings using node.js so here you can see chat gpt writing code for us created a lambda function aws lambda function handler with the greetings uh, um, uh, random greetings array and then here it is a passing a random uh, greetings in every time in the response so we are returning that um, particular uh, response right so let's uh, test it uh, so I'm creating one lambda function here um, I am for now like uh, using node.js 16 and creating one default lambda function and let's going to use this uh, code snippet which generated by chat GPT uh, in this lambda function which is we are creating right now so um, write lambda function handler code which generate a random greeting using node.js so this is a ready to use code given by chat gpt for aws lambda function so here i created a one uh, default lambda uh, lambda function with different uh, settings and this is the default um, code uh, for the node.js runtime um, node.js 16 runtime so let me just try to execute this and see what is it's giving like it is always returning uh, response like hello from lambda okay so this is a default uh, code now let's uh, we can uh, copy this uh, chat gpt generated code and uh, this is a code for like randomly giving greeting message in into the response uh, so i'm going to override this uh, existing lambda function code and deploying it so if after deploying like uh, when i will execute this handler uh, this function the, so this lambda function handler we is, uh, have a new event and context and then this greeting um, um, array definite so it will like randomly pick up the one greetings from this based on this calculation and so given in give into the response when we run this lambda function okay so every time we will get uh, this different greetings in into the response so let's uh, try to execute this function uh, so i'm running first time you can see we get this particular response that uh, different greetings so now if i will run say again it is giving different greetings again i will run it will give something else right so it is uh, giving a random greeting message uh, every time we are learning hi there so we are running lambda function so is it you can see like how easy it to like uh, uh, write code snippet like this by using chat gpt um, so uh, this is just a basic um, example i am giving how different way you can utilize this chat gpt tool to uh, write a your code uh, not just a lambda function but you can write any kind of code and uh, that will give you some um, uh, like a quick way to write something here i will take another more example for now like write a lambda function handler code which create a uh, write a lambda function handler code which create a thumbnail of image stored in aws s3 uh, using node.js okay so i am asking this question to chat gpt and see like how it's uh, giving us a code ready so writing a lambda function handler code which create a thumbnail of image stored in aws s3 using node.js so here you can see uh, chat gpt is writing for us aws lambda function handler code 
so that will uh, pick up the image uh, from the s3 bucket and then um, create a thumbnail and then store it back to the s3 bucket so code uh, that kind of code uh, this chat gpt writing for us uh, like if we write ourselves it will take time right so you can see like everything written here we just need to copy and just use in in our lambda function or um, and wherever we have like this lambda function code need to update we just need to copy and update so here you can see like what question we ask is write a lambda function handler code which create a thumbnail of image stored in aws3 using node.js right so here uh, included the needful aws sdk um, libraries or module and uh, then this aws library mainly required for s3 operation because we you can see like the, here aws s3 object is created and this is a handler function for lambda and this handler function is kind of like event and context are passing and event is passing uh, more detail like which particular bucket and which particular uh, object need to pick up so this detail taken from event and then you can see here uh, the by using this s3 aws sdk s3 object like uh, we just get the object of that particular uh, from based on that bucket and key and we get that image and after getting that image here you can see like um, chat gpt smart way given us this uh, also code ready like I uh, here added uh, the node.js sharp library uh, module uh, which will allow us to uh, uh, um, uh, generate the thumbnail or uh, image conversion operation so here it is included this module um, and which will allow us to uh, like you can see generate thumbnails using sharp so sharp we need to pass here the uh, relevant image and it will create a thumbnail for us based on a sync await operation in the node.js and you can see like we can give the resize of whatever size we want and, and that thumbnail will be generated and after that we uh, here again this uh, using s3 um, aws sdk s3 we are just putting back that particular uh, generated new image into the um, s3 bucket so here you can see thumbnail we are passing we are passing bucket and particular uh, key um, uh, and then the content uh, type so here we are just getting the image here we are converting uh, to the thumbnail by using sap library and then writing it back so this is code is quickly generated by chat gpt for us like we ask uh, write a lambda function handler code which create a thumbnail of image stored in aws3 using node.js so it is quick right so we, we just need to copy and paste into the our lambda function and that's it and also here given a suggestion like uh, this is a kind of um, library and this is a these two library we need to put in package for node.js and that's it so this is how this um, chat gpt generating the co uh, code uh, for a lambda function now let me give you one more example uh, that is uh, something different so um, uh, writing write a lambda function handler code which uh, doing uh, crud operation on dynamodb using node.js okay so here it is something different i am giving like initially i given a basic things to generate a greeting message then i given something advanced like uh, do the s3 operation get the object put object and do the thumbnail generation by third party library for node.js uh, so that is also generated now i given something advanced like write a lambda function handler code which doing crud operation on dynamodb using node.js right so th that is a kind of like database operation we always required when we uh, doing the lambda function so here it will return a complete crud operation so here you can see like um, lambda function code is generated which is including the aws sdk uh, for dynamodb uh, operation so you here the aws dynamodb um, client uh, document client object is created handler um, here uh, the get item uh, function is created uh, with the all the details right like you, you can also see here get item then add item update item so this all are different function created automatically and here um, also it at writing the full code for delete and all so let's uh, wait for finishing So it's writing completely all crud operation like add, delete, update, 
um, uh, and uh, get operation operation by using dynamo db so it is also explaining like here get item add item update item and delete item code is uh, created so uh, here aws sdk dynamo db object is get object you can see like uh, we are passing event and context so here the particular table of the dynamo db and then we are doing get operations and here returning the whatever item we are getting from the particular table here also handling the error right smart way you can also this is a add operation like um, whatever event uh, data passed that we are passing here in the operation with the dynamo db table and put up uh, we are firing the put um, operations right so here also like returning the particular response and then update operation same way like whatever in the event data we are passing the dynamo db table and particular key uh, re relevant to that update and then um, we are also passing this update expression like particular um, uh, attribute we want to update based on those condition so uh, so so this is how like uh, this is how this chat um, uh, GPT is generating for uh, uh, us this kind of lambda function code. If we want to not like this response or if we want to generate us, we can ask generate again like regenerate the response. Then it will give us a more refined or a different version of it. Okay. So here you can see like this was a something else different version and now uh, we regenerate the response so it is written in some some different ways so here you can see like again the aws sdk is um, this is given a new version of it not new different response like we regenerated response so it will now giving us a different response than this so even we are able to do regenerate response as well but if we don't like the whatever code uh, response given uh, first time then we can try regenerate it so you can see like again um, the chat gpt given us answer to this question write a lambda function handler code which created uh, sorry uh, not this one but this one write a lambda function handler code which uh, doing crud operation on dynamo to be using node.js so this is a latest answer added a sdk for aws um, also created an object for a dynamo db uh, operation for document client and here is the actual handler added also for lambda function last time it was not added oh in this code uh, i mean um, when when this uh, uh, like in first response sorry that this is a first response here it was not added but if you see in the second response uh, the handler code is added and also the uh, event is um, uh, also like event is extracted and get the http method and body and pass that particular body and also this http method checking like get post put or delete and based on this particular event method uh, we are it is doing different operations so you can see like whenever the http uh, method passed in this event is get uh, then it will do get operation when passed the post then it will do create operation put then it will do update and delete then it will do the delete operation so based on event it is handling these cases and also the error if no any cases matches and here also written all the crud operation function as well separately get item create item update item and the uh, relevant operation as well as delete item operation right and it is written in proper way like you can see like this is a get and doing the get operation relevant to uh, the particular table and and then um, catches error if anything problem right so this is a smart way chat gpt writing this kind of lambda function code for us this is just a quick uh, idea like um, how developer uh, can utilize this tool not just to write a lambda function code but for writing any kind of code and then utilize it positive way uh, to generate some snippet and you can then copy and tweak it as per your needs like so this is just how i just want to show you quickly how you can write a your lambda function code using chat gpt so any developer able to uh, think positively and able to use this tool um, and if they can use proper way then it will be uh, helpful at some level to um, extend your productivity and uh, uh, in terms of your day-to-day -day development thank you for um, watching this session and thank you for your time um, 
please uh, share uh, like uh, this video please uh, share this video with your friends and subscribe my channel for more technical uh, exciting session thank you so much for your time and thank you for watching this session don't forget to like this video and share uh, with your friends thank you so much